home and play crafting and more. because I did have a previous video about um, my entry for this competition but um, I wanted to redo it because I made some new pieces. So in overall I have quite a few charms to show you so I'm going to try and get through them as quick as I can. Um, and what do you think of this little necklace guys? I need this. Whoops, come on. I just don't know how to use my camera very well. So the first thing I have is this rainbow cake. Just put the little cake there and um, it's rainbow, because it's a rainbow cake, but um, it's the inside, it's all been textured, it's been painted on the outside and glazed so that the, um, the paint will stay in and be shiny. And it has its two slices which go in the cake. Oops, that one's the wrong way. So it's a rainbow cake. The next one I have is just this purple cake, and it's just like made the same way, it's got this little This sugar cookie. Hello. Sorry, I don't know how to use my camera very well. Oh, that's better. Oh, I love it's goldy. Um, so it's just this little sugar cookie. And I'll put photos at the end so you can see them better. And I have this cupcake, and it's this little bear based off Rolla Kuma because he is like designed the same way. He's adorable. And I have this French Cola donut, and I've never made one of these before, but I just had to. It's kind of dirty, but it's really awesome. Last charm is this one, which is this little strawberry cookie, and it's just like the cutest thing ever. So flat, so flat. Um, yeah, so that's my food. Now the rest of my entry is just basically pendants, different pieces. Um, I have one piece that was actually inspired by someone. It is a food charm, but I've kind of left it so that I can give her a bit of a name in this. Um, her name is Faith from Sweet Cupcake Sprinkles, who made a macaron a demo and I've just used her technique for this and it's just a screen macron and I really like it. The next piece that I have is this one and it was something that I made for someone called Mint uh, from Mint's LPS channel. I will also link her channel down below. And it has mint on the side here and it has a little cat which is fully made out of clay and the leaf that's on her icon. Okay so now I have some other pieces of course which are just random because they don't really have a place. Um, so I have this Pokeball cookie, and uh, this is from Pokemon, and if you have no idea what that is, it's just a Japanese anime. Um, so it's got the little um, piece, and it's just got the Sahara cookie. Focus! Come on, you can do it! Good, good camera. It's being good with me today. The next one I have is this little Pokeball, which just has a yellow top, which I don't think actually exists. Um, I have this little bubble charm. Ah, it's got that cute little face. I have this paw print charm. Just has a pattern on it. And I swear, oh yeah, there it goes. Next ones that I have are like three, um, same shape but just different patterns. And the first one I have is this, and it's like this, just um, star shape kind of thing. And it's got this heart and this black rim in the middle, just back. And it's made with pearl essent uh, clay mixed in, so it looks really shiny, which I love. And I have these two, which have writing on them, and they've got just marbled base. So the first one is inspired by the Fault in Our Stars, and it's got OK, which I think looks really cute with a little pearl. Just the back. Again, this is pearl essent. It's super awesome. And the next one I have is this one that says Bert, most commonly used phrase. <laughs> and it's just the same, just marbled back. Just a little strip with what on it. The next thing I have, we're gonna have to go a bit out for this. Uh, it says, in my heart forever, it's a broken heart piece. And um, it's on this, which is just a necklace. It's really squishy. Um, and yeah, it's just this piece. This one I have is a very common problem among girls. It's this bad hair day piece. And it says, the moment you realize you're having a bad hair day, and it has all these exclamation marks, and it's just like this, oh my gosh, just creepy face lady um, with the really bad hair. So, yes, that very horrible moment when you wake up and your hair is full of nuts. It looks disgusting. 
Then I have two characters from Japanese cartoons or like kind of, I don't know what you'd say. Um, but this is Relic in a bag with this cute little face and little black tummy. And this is Mamagama laying down. And he's got his little tummy and his little mouth and he's partially painted. And I am a Japanese lover. I love the Japanese, they're like so awesome. The next piece I have is also Mamagoma, and it's just this little Mamagoma sitting in a tiger lily, which is a type of flower on this base with all these little vines. And it's blushing. The next piece um, may not be very familiar. It's a crocodile, um, which is very bad in our waters. It's better to be in the um, water with a shark than a crocodile because they literally will eat anything. Tourists that come to um, the tropics don't actually think about it when they go near the banks and a lot of them get like hurt, like taken because um, you're getting hurt by a crocodile and living is very um, rare. <laughs> but uh, I've made him look a lot cuter. He's a little face, but he's made with a pineapple mold actually and um, he's just got this palace and clay as the water and it's just this face, in fact that's my dad, um, on this and it looks really cool. No, we're down to the last two pieces. No! But uh, this one is a um, Sailor Moon hat. Um, this is actually a pendant that I made. Um, that's the original clay color, but I painted it with this other color because it looks so much better. Please focus for me. Good camera. Um, but it looks really cool. It's got two diamantes and the rest is just clay. And it's really cool. So for some of you, you may already know of the last piece. Um, it's this, whoops, it's not big enough. Okay, we'll have to do that. Um, it's a Sailor Moon piece, and uh, you can kind of see my filming area. Anyway, um, from the anime Sailor Moon, of course, because that's it's fun. And um, I've just recreated her. I've never made a chippy with eyes, like clay eyes, so this was really different. Um, all her features, her detail, look at that push my background. Um, yeah, just her little feet, her skirt, her hair, her little bow. Um, her hair was just so much fun. Um, she's got all her little features. Her eyes pop out of her head, literally. Oops, and the back. Oops, that's not the back of her. This little shoes and everything. But yeah, that was just my contest entry for Caesar's Shoes 7,000 subscribers. Congratulations! Very cool. Um, so if some of your lovely people would like to subscribe, it would be very, very appreciative by her. But this was just my entire entry, all of my charms. So I am very pleased with this redo because I think I achieved a lot more. The Sailor Moon piece and um, just pretty much everything I've worked so hard on, I don't really care if I don't win. I just, I love seeing people enter. I love seeing other people win because they can enjoy the moment and be very happy. Um, I just really enjoyed making everything. So yeah. Um, and now I gotta move on to like some information. So my name is Carissa. I live in Australia, a little bit different. And um, I am 12. So I've been crafting for more than a year and a half actually with polymer clay. So this was just my entry and I really hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, a like, and tell me what was your favorite piece. And now we'll move on to the photos and just video clips of the charm. Thank you for watching CC Sweet Store. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment for more videos. Bye!